And now we come to our fourth point, compliance or knowledge. It's always a question when teachers look at an assessment, are the students gaining their own knowledge or are they just saying, I understand because I asked. At this point, uh, reading the book, Personalized Learning Playbook, Anthony Kim introduces three ways technology can amplify the reach of the teacher through feedback, collaboration, and creation. So if a teacher uses technology to provide a better feedback, maybe a Google Classroom, or if a teacher uh, uses a Google Docs for to amplify the collaboration on a group project, or even if this, uh, the teacher provides some sort of tech tool that the student can create, uh, and show or illustrate their knowledge of the content this provide this is personalized learning and it provides ownership to the student on the content and understanding that they have learned and now we come to our fifth point when students would students come to your class if they did not have to 80% uh, of learning occurs outside the classroom, so to get the students to come into the classroom voluntarily, they have to be motivated by an outside source. Uh, after reading the teachers, the photography teacher's handbook, Practical Methods for Engaging Students through Flipped Classrooms, he states that flipped classrooms largely depart from teacher-centered models in favor of more collaborative, active learning-centered approaches. Flipping the classroom, where the students are learning the may are being introduced to them the content where in their own environment that they choose and they come back to the classroom ready prepared and for activities or discussions or even a quiz this enables teachers to use that that precious class time for uh, in-depth activities where the students can apply the content to the real world apply the content to their personal lives or use that content and affect another person's life.